good day everybody, it's Karinara here and let's get to the next The Witcher story, Side Effects. Geralt of Olivia, the famed white wolf, learns that his best friend has gotten himself into something of a situation. The Witcher must collect a tidy sum if he is to help Dandelion. Can he do it in time? Ooh, is this like a timed adventure? Like... So our objective is just to collect a lot of money, I guess. You could say. So let's get to that, I think. Okay, back to drinking. That's cool. That's always cool. What happened later? Another story, Master Dandelion. Please tell us more of the Witcher. Of his return to the Witcher's Fortress at the world's end where his brethren awaited. Sing on, dear Mr. Why don't one of you fetch a tankard full of mead for our bard, something to soothe his throat? For this dandelion whose ballads all go straight for the heart. Stop chattering like sparrows, still yourselves and listen! This evening I'll recount a tale none before have ever heard. Yours truly had his part. Hmm. One might say I played a key role. Our tale takes us to Vizima, one year after the Witcher's famed taming of the story. Ooh, so this is a year a after the Alderman, story arc. An enemy of poetry and a stranger to all concepts of love, I might add, had me cast in jail and insisted I be hanged. You see, his wife, a captivating, considerably younger creature, had succumbed to my charm. In my hour of need, as I rotted in my cell, who should appear if not the Witcher Geralt himself? <coughs> Sorry, that was a sneeze. Allergies. Uh, my dear Captain, I'll say it again. This bloated minstrel should pay with his head for harming my little blossom. Gentlemen, I haven't the faintest notion what this is about. I am Master Dandelion, the most esteemed poet in this land, and I insist I am completely innocent. Shut up, Dandelion. And you, <laughs> cease your insistence, Counselor. I've been clear. The suspect will remain in custody pending the conclusion of our investigation. I'm astounded at your obstinacy, Captain. My poor Siegfrieda wails day and night asking Sieg when Frieda? this knave will finally be punished. As an alderman, I must demand... This is the city jail, not a town council meeting. Now you'll have to excuse me. Duty demands that I take my leave. Oh, what do you want? I need to speak to the prisoner. Dandelion, be my guest. But keep your hands where I can see him, and the conversation's short. You really think con conversations with Dandelion are short? Gerald, am I ever glad to see you. How did you find me? News travels fast. What did you do this time? I mean, people don't get arrested for busking. The accusations are pure slander. Huh. I don't doubt that of all the men who have ever been here, not one has been guilty. The Alderman doesn't seem to think so. Well, the Alderman is a fat pig with a pea-sized <laughs> brain. We should hardly expect him to demonstrate understanding for concepts like free love. Luckily... I've always got a backup plan. Dandelion, the butcher's boy came to say you ordered sirloin steak and chicken livers. My dear captain, please don't tell me you thought prison gruel would satisfy me. Don't overdo it, Dandelion. This was not our deal. That 2,000 orans guarantees you won't hang too quickly. I don't remember talking about luxury accommodations. These guards have not an ounce of imagination. 2,000 orans? Are you out of your mind, Dandelion? No need to get riled. I've got it all figured out. The good captain will make sure the alderman doesn't get his way. I'll spend a few days in here, finally get some sleep, let the alderman cool down, and it'll all blow over. Uh-huh. Sure. Sounds beautiful. But care to tell me how you got your hands on 2,000 orans? That, my dear Witcher, is strictly for me to know. Why can't you just trust me, Geralt? All right. If you must know, I borrowed the money from a very trustworthy individual and aimed to pay it back as soon as I'm released. I hope you didn't do anything stupid. 
though I suspect you might have. <laughs> Enough of this chatter. Visiting hours are over. You have visiting hours in this. Okay. Okay, I need to distribute my things. Oh, that's a sucky amount of things. Oh, I see. It's, does it save the ones I had already? No, it, they are different. Okay, what can we actually do with this? That is completely useless. That is completely useless. I think that's also useless. Hmm. These are probably also pretty useless. Don't have anything in these. Well, it looks like only things I can get are up here, so... Let's see about those. I mean, fist fightings make no sense. I don't think there's going to be much fist fighting. But, um, but intelligence... None of these make any sense of these choices. Well, maybe we need to fist fight. Let's do fist fights. And what is this? Alcohol intoxication. Sure, let's do that. Because there's not really much you can do with those points. Anyways, what were we to do? I need to learn more. Gotcha. Are you Geralt of Rivia the Witcher? Mm -hmm. What do you want? Mr. Glover wants to see you as soon as possible. I'd advise you to comply if you want to help your friend Dandelion avoid some serious trouble. Mr. Blubber? Been away from Vizima for a while, I see. Mr. Glover rules the town. When he tells you to jump, make sure to ask how high. Understand? What have you done now, Dandelion? All right, let's go see this Glover. Sure, I assume I follow him, maybe? Perhaps? I'm not sure. But that would make kind of sense. Uh, let's see. Track. Yeah. Strange to be back here. How would someone in the slums be like a boss of a place? I don't know. Well, are there underground things, I guess, but sure. Uh, who is this? None of you is the clover guy. Mr. Glover awaits downstairs. Wyverns. Just watch out for the wyverns. They're in a bad mood today. Well, they are easy to kill at least. What wyverns? No matter, I'll see for myself. Probably they're all wyverns. Yep. Oh, they are tame, actually. Well, well. So the Witcher deigns to come and see me after all. Your man stopped me in the street. I wonder, what are the chances of surviving a fight against two ravenous wyverns? Pretty high, Divine for a witcher. Fighting. Someone not entirely familiar with a sword. An artist. Let's say a minstrel. Very low. Mm. So how much does Dandelion owe you? An even two thousand. And I know he aims to flee the city the moment they release him from jail. He foolishly believes he can outsmart Mr. Glover. My men have asked around. We know he's broke as a newborn beggar. To make matters worse, none in this city are willing to lend to him. I've no gripe with you, Witcher. But frankly, you may be his only chance. So, what'll it be? If Dandelion doesn't pay his debt, I will. More reasonable than I thought. Get the coin, quick, plain and simple. I hate to pressure you, but the city jail can be a depressing place. Heard a prisoner recently hung himself by his own bootlaces. It needn't get that depressing for Dandelion. You have a deal. I'll pay his debt. 
Call it a side effect of having friends. <laughs> All right, so I start to need 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 to start to think about coins. I mean, doing wizarding work, wizarding, wizarding work shouldn't be that difficult. We can get shots money pretty fast if we just can get work. You look like a bird just shit in your soup. Conversation not go as planned. Not the nicest man I've met, no. Gun Hargus, leader of the Band of Brethren. Me and my friends, well, Glover's no friend of ours. In truth, we're irked the twerp thinks he rules these streets. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Got an offer for me? Indeed. We heard of your troubles. Well, yours and that likable scoundrel dandelions. And we'd like to help. News travels fast around here. To what do I owe this unexpected kindness? Let's say we wouldn't mind seeing Glover humbled. We, as the band of brethren, hold something of value. A treasure we're willing to entrust to you, should you prove worthy of our trust. Well, it sounds a bit complicated, but I'm in no position to turn you down. How do I prove myself worthy? You need to visit us each in turn. You'll find Griffin and Grusel at the tavern, while Navik should be loitering by the cemetery gate. Once you've finished with them, come see me at my smithy. I too will want to test the metal from which you were forged. Okay, cool. All right, I'll see you soon then. Okay, so let's start from the tavern because it's somewhere pretty nearby here. Wasn't it right here? Is there any jobs I can do? There is. Or maybe not. They seem to be just scribbles. Rivians go home. Oh, come on. I'm a nice person. Milka is <laughs> She lies and cheats. She uses faded dice. Blow her to hell. These are really nice notes. Notice, monster parts, alchemy substances and miscellaneous ingredients wanted. We'll pay generously one orange per drowner and cool part, three orange per drown dead and all cool parts, six orange for, from, for flader and raid parts, double the above consideration is offered for undamaged, cleanly skinned organs. Well, I mean, those are really low amounts. To get the 2000 I need, I would need to kill a lot of them. The Temple of Melitele encourages all idle young women of Visima to join the order as novice nuns. Our skilled healers are available for the treatment of all manner of illnesses. Any and all beneficent help herbs gathered may be brought to Mother Nilka for compensation as follows. 3 orange per common herb gathered in Visima, 6 orange per herb gathered in the city sewers and cemetery. Cool. Sewers closed until further notice. Okay, so because we got those price lists, I think we need to do something like, like that. So, herb picking and monster killing. Sounds fun. Hey Milka. Hello, stranger. Anyone ever say you have an intriguing smile? Funny. I thought I never smiled. <laughs> Care to sit down to a game of dice poker with me? I must yeah, no. I play for keeps, even against beauties like you. What'll it be, handsome? You look worried. Something bothering you? My dear friend claims anyone would be happy to be in my position, but I'm unable to rejoice as long as this bad feeling persists. <laughs> I've always thought one should listen to reason rather than feelings. Ooh, so rational and lofty. I wager you're a wintry Virgo in the zodiacal scheme of things. Care to tell me what happened? I'm a witcher. Maybe I can help. Truly? I can't believe my luck. You see, several days ago, I won an old house. At first, I was overjoyed. That is, until I had a strange dream. They say the house is haunted, and I feel it will bring me ill luck. I know it all sounds ridiculous, but on another occasion, I won a man's wife. Some guy bet his wife. 
bold. The mayor, actually. But I handled it well and promptly lost her to another man. But what of my house? Well, if it is infested, I can probably clear out any visitors. You could then sell it off with a witcher's guarantee. Splendid! But you must do one thing before I give you the key. You see, a soothsayer recently told me I would be stripped of troubles by one who brought me a turquoise ring. All right, if you say so. I'll bring you a ring if I find one. Okay. So we, we got some quests, so that's pretty nice. Who the hell are you? Oh, that's I'm good, pretty. Olivia, Witcher. Sergeant Oral at your service. Let's talk. What's your line of work? I'm a mercenary. We make sure those uh, shit eaters don't come crawling out of the sewers. Drowners? Recently. Right. And let me tell you, friend, it all began with that shipment of rotten cabbage. The whole city started shitting its guts out. That and all manner of syphilitic scum began multiplying in the sewers. But we shut all the entrances and the streets are safe. Yeah. Nice solution. Cheap and easy. As it happens, I'm a witcher and I wouldn't mind taking a closer look at that scum. Oh, you would, would you? Oh, it's no concern if mine... Matter of fact, I'm not much bothered, except if something guts you, it'll be my head. Well, how do I know you to be a witcher? How do I know you'll emerge unscathed? I pretty much I look like a witcher. Very well. I hear witches are damned incredible heavyweights. If you can drink me under the table, I'll believe you to be a witcher and give you the keys to the sewers. It's a deal. I'm a bad drinker and I don't think I even have any drinks. Well, let's not think about that now. Evening. How'd you like to try your luck at a drinking contest? Mmm, nah, not Take now. Care. I don't have any drinks on me, I don't think. Yeah, I don't. I have some potions and some food, but that's about that. Should we fist fight? The circus is across town, freak. I know. They're missing a clown. Sent me looking. You him? Let me slap that stupid smile off your face. Put up 25 RNs and let's get it over with. Sure. I think I'll take you up on that. Because fist fighting should be fine. Okay, this is not going well. Here we go. We should get some money from that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got it, Geralt. Oh, that's two less teeth. Don't worry, you look nice. Here's your coin, now leave me alone. Okay, we have doubled our money already. Anyways, are you someone? What do you want? I'm looking for work. Well, look somewhere else. Bad day? Fuck off. <laughs> Who are you? I work for Mr. Glover. Familiar with that name? Though soon enough, everyone in this town will know Jeremiah Trick, too. If you want to be someone, I'd pick an alias. Something people would remember. Jeremiah Trick sounds like something you sweep under the rug. Fuck off. Whoa, there's a flying bubble on the corner. Look at that. That's crazy. See ya. Welcome to the Hairy Bear. How can I help? I'm looking for a place to stay. Wouldn't mind some food and a fire to warm my feet by. You've come to the right place. If you're hungry or thirsty, call a waitress. Rooms are a modest five orange. I'll take a look around if you don't mind. Yes? Uh, Gun sent me. So he decided to track you down after all. Mighty happy about that, Witcher, believe you me. 
Glover is one son of a bitch who deserves to have his ears boxed. And that's always easier in a group. Yeah, Gunn also mentioned some treasure. Right indeed. It just might be enough to pay off your friend's debt. But that's enough, Bratlin. This customs need to be observed. Customs? To gain the trust of the Band of Brethren, you have to defeat each of us in a duel. Bottles and tankards are my weapons of choice. So, last man standing. <laughs> yeah, and that's usually Griffin. Sure, but I don't have any drinks. You bar me. I'll do that later because I don't have any drinks right now. Another reason for coming. What other reason? There's a comfortable bed out back. What'll it be? Let's buy some alcohol. Let's let's buy weak ones. Could you buy them? I guess we better spend like all of our money for that. Hmm. Sure, let's get a little more. Because we can get money later. That's all I can afford. So let's get let's get stringing. Welcome to the hairy bear. How can I help? I'm looking for a place to stay. Wouldn't mind some food and a fire to walk. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what exactly is this band of brethren? We served in one unit during the war. Me, Gun, my brother Gruzil, Narvik and Kuna, may he rest in peace. Whenever I looked around, we were all there alongside each other. What made you turn civilian? There's only so much horror a man can see and stay sane. We'd had enough of the warring and pillaging, decided to find some way to earn an honest living. Settle down somewhere, you know. Why'd you choose Vizima? We drew straws. The other options were Oxenfurt, Maribor and Sintra. Cool. Let's drink. Okay, I'm already intoxicated. Could we stop soon? It's still not enough. I'm already intoxicated. I can't handle much more. Hmm, maybe not. Oh, not good. I'm seeing trouble. <laughs> Witcher, you're a good man. A good man. I win. Now, if I can just make it to that bench. You're quite a heavyweight. It's good that we took the intoxication trade. Ooh, a cold roast would hit the spot. You care for some? Oh, yeah. Cool. So, how's our timing right now? A little more, sure. Cool. Now we are. Once again, completely out of money. Uh, wasn't the other one also here? In this same place? I need to find him. Could you get out of your intoxication already? I'm very sure that um, oh I need to also play with Milka but I don't have any money anymore Or is she just like you? Know, oh no, Crucial is over there. Okay, you have feast fighting, but I'm intoxicated, so. 
That could be interesting. Attack efficiency reduced by 50. Yeah, that doesn't sound very good. Let's wait a little to see if we can get rid of our intoxication. After, after that it should be good. Oh, there's an alcohol in here. Anyways, let's wait a little until, until our intoxication leaves. Um, I could play against Milka, but I don't have any money left. Because I bought all that alcohol. I actually could sell the alcohol because I don't think I need it anymore. Made up your mind. I'm going to get nothing from these, but it's better than anything. Can I afford the nine coins? Would it be handsome? Let's try this out. Okay. Decent dice, decent dice. No, I wouldn't want to race. I don't have the money to race. Mm. We could try to get a five. It's a risk, but we could try it. Please give me a five. Of course you didn't give me a five. Yeah, you already have better than... Oh, you have way better than I do. Sure. I mean, no way I could have beaten that. What is that? It's a five. We both have bears. She has better bear than I do. Okay, two bears. That's not bad. But it loses the loses the full house. Will it be handsome? Because you said you want to... I need to win against her. Okay, these are pretty good ones. Please give me a full house. Of course not, but two, two is pretty good. Okay, I won this time. Let's win the another round too. Ooh, nice, very nice. Give me a fault for. Mm, so close, so very close. Oh, I won! I actually won. So what do I get for Vinny? What'll it be, handsome? Take care. I thought there was going to be something for Vinny. I need to play Milka and win what the I met a very likable girl named Milka at the barn da, da, da. Oh, I see. It's not a quest I can like get done. But could you get out of your drunkness already? Stand still. 
Because I need to talk to this guy and we probably need to feast fight. It's not good to feast fight while you are very drunk. But I think it's pretty close our time to be done. So I hope you like this episode and bye bye.